But yeah, so what I've been doing is just basically explaining the difference. And a lot of the difference is really how we have it modular. How it's uh, each of our PCSs, they're 200 kilowatt. Um, each of them is tied to a battery rack. So it gives the project more resiliency. And we've been seeing more from IPPs or any, any anybody that's going to end up owning the project, their interest level increases when they realize that it's not a centralized transformer skid. Um, it's it's uh, decentralized, right? Distributed. And so basically, um, when you have, when it comes to diff different parts too, and, and I'm thinking it's just about O&M, um, that's another thing that they really like because it makes O&M super simple. Are you speeding the energy transition? Here at the Clean Power Hour, our host Tim Montague bring you the best in solar, batteries, and clean technologies every week. Want to go deeper into decarbonization? We do too. We're here to help you understand and command the commercial, residential, and utility solar, wind, and storage industries. So let's get to it. Together we can speed the energy transition. The Clean Power Hour is brought to you by CPS America, maker of North America's number one three-phase string inverter with over eight gigawatts shipped in the U.S. The CPS product lineup includes string inverters ranging from 25 kW to 350 kW. Their flagship inverter, the CPS 350 kW, is designed to work with solar plants ranging from 2 megawatts to 2 gigawatts. CPS is the world's most bankable inverter brand and is America's number one choice for solar plants. Now offering solutions for commercial, utility, ESS, and balance of system requirements. Go to chintpowersystems.com or call 855-584-7168 to find out more. We're here at InterSolar San Diego and I'm with David Florenz in the CPS booth. Welcome to the Clean Power Hour, David. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. It's great to have you on the show. Yeah, it's great to be here. How did you get into the solar industry? Um, well, it was about 12 years ago now. Uh, I started on the residential side and uh, worked for some companies that you know people know, Vivint and then uh, Sunrun and all that. And so I did do civil engineering back in the day and that's what uh, kind of ended up getting me interested into the renewable sector. And um, But yeah, I, I, uh, I, I've been on the sales side. I've helped with, with you know some design and all that, um, but very, very light. And uh, now I'm, I'm at CPS and I love it. CPS. I mean, you really could, with your experience, you could work at any number of solar manufacturing companies. Why did you choose to come to CPS and sell three-phase string inverters and grid-scale storage? Uh, I guess I guess it's the relationship that I built. Um, I uh, we met back when I was at, at Runergy here at these these trade shows. Um, but then uh, I, I made a move to Astronergy, which is our sister company. Um, and from there, I got to the opportunity to meet Brian, uh, the president of the company, Brian Wagner, and uh, just seeing the team and just you know seeing how they were, how they're just the culture there. Um, I could tell there was something different, something special, and and then learning more and more about them because, like like I said, I, I came from the residential, and I feel like many residential uh, installers they actually don't know much about CPS, right? Uh, uh, now more and more but really there's a lot of them that just don't know the brand sure because they're not dealing with three-phase string they're, not. they're dealing with single phase right. you do and now have a single phase product but sure. um, it's kind of apples and oranges right but, but what is it that you do what is your niche within CPS within CPS I'm focused on what I've been focused on for for a few years now with uh, on the on the PV module side which is the utility utility scale um, and so I'm, I'm doing utility scale, but on the ESS battery side. Um, so that's that's mainly been the focus, plus the PV utility products that we have um, for the inverters the, with the centralized wire boxes and distributed wire boxes as well. Yeah. So CPS has a five megawatt hour battery now. Correct. We're looking at that a model of that container here. One of the cool things I think is that you are a soup to nuts manufacturer and integrator everything but the cell is a cps product Correct. and that's pretty unusual um but what has the reception been so far in the market 
Um, with our product, as you know, utility takes time, all right? We have some really great uh, opportunities, some that uh, were designed into. Um, but uh, like I said, I started about six months ago. So two, three years, two, you know, really three years until we'll see, you know, some of these start landing in the market, some uh, ERCA, different places, California, uh, different utilities there. But, um, but yeah, so what I've been doing is just basically explaining the difference. And a lot of the difference is really how we have it modular, how it's uh, each of our PCSs, they're 200 kilowatt. Um, each of them is tied to a battery rack, so it gives the project more resiliency. And we've been seeing more from IPPs or any, any, anybody that's going to end up owning the project, their interest level increases when they realize that it's not a centralized transformer skid, um, it's, it's uh, decentralized, right? Distributed. And so basically, um, when you have when it comes to diff different parts too, and, and I'm thinking it's just about O&M, um, that's another thing that they really like because it makes O&M super simple, um, where if there is an issue, you can take out just one of these, right, that's bad, one of the PCSs, and then swap it out. And a lot of times you'll just have it on site. Um, but going back to the resiliency, if one goes out, you just have one rack down. And that's very different than what's been out there, what's been installed. Especially, it makes a big difference, especially if you're doing a four hour duration. Because this, this right here, as you see it, is a two hour duration. You would take this other battery pack, this five megawatt hour, put another one right here, or you can do it side to side, right? And then that becomes a four hour duration. And so if your transformer centralized skid goes out, you have two batteries, two containers, that's 10 megawatt hours decommissioned, not, not working, right? And so, um, so it, we see importance in that. Um, again, going back to resiliency of the project, um, it's just uh, something that we see the owners of these projects really, really seeing the value of it. But right, it takes time. It's not like, oh, let's let's do it tomorrow, right? Sure. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a multi-million dollar sale for right. one thing. Right. And, but I'm curious. The grid scale storage market is certainly well known in California, Hawaii, Texas. What are you seeing in terms of uptake in, and uh, quotes for projects at the grid scale storage? Um, those those are the states. You're you're absolutely right. Um, Hawaii, I I, uh, I share basically. So uh, there's there's someone else that that helped. Obviously, everybody wants to, to work Hawaii, right? Um, but uh, California, but Texas is definitely the one that the quotes come in. You know, basically week after week. There's you know smaller smaller projects, right? Um, lots of standalone battery projects. Um, uh, there's there's some that are DC only where. Um, we would only offer our five megawatt hour, um, so that those still we have the, an opportunity there. Um, but yeah, and, yeah. D explain that to me. How does that work? A DC only battery. Yeah. So it's well, not grid tied at all. Um, uh, ba basically, like I was saying, with the the centralized um, skid, they're wanting it to be DC DC to DC connected. Okay. This is this is AC to DC. So um, basically, where where it'll uh, tie in straight into the PV as well yeah. the, on the project, right? Yeah. Um, but is it a behind the meter application then, or um, front of the meter? It's uh, it's behind the meter, most of them. Yeah. yeah, from what I'm seeing. And like I said, I'm still relatively new, so and those it's all those good. are the projects that I I don't end up getting too uh, too in the weeds with sure. because we're only offering our our five megawatt hour. Um, the ones that I do, though, are the ones where we're doing the AC, where they're looking for AC couple. And a lot of those are, are projects where the PV has already, you know, been installed or standalone. That's where we see the, like, basically a retrofit, um, where they're adding uh, storage to the project, to an existing project, or, uh, or just the standalone. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of retrofitting in storage to existing uh, solar farms from yeah. anything, you know, two megawatts and up. But David, in our last minute together, what else should our listeners know about you and CPS? Um, I, uh, my, my title is utility, but uh, with ESS and with CPS being so, uh, so focused in CNI for so many years, 
eight years in a row now, uh, number one market share in the U.S. Um, we have a lot of customers, a lot of repeat customers that, that are interested in storage for CNI. And that's been, especially here, and you've seen it in InterSolar, it's, there's been a lot of interest in um, our CNI, our new one. This is brand new. I just saw it yesterday, right? Um, 125, uh, 261 kilowatt hour um, CNI solution. It could be also for a four hour duration, you can go to a 62.5. But um, that's something that um, if you have any projects interested in um, for CNI, not only will we uh, be able to obviously offer you the unit, um, but we have great expertise with our engineering team, also our software side for the energy management system, EMS. Um, we're helping, helping uh, basically teach anybody that needs help with proposals, with understanding how, how your end customer can really find savings and really make sense of why they should or could right, um, benefit from our CNI, that solution. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Check out all of our content at cleanpowerhour.com. Give us a rating and review on Apple and Spotify and follow us on YouTube. David, how can our listeners find you? Uh, I'm on LinkedIn, David Florenz. Um, you, can, you can email me as well. I believe I have it on there, but david.florenz, F-L-O-R-E-N-Z, at chintpower.com. Um, yeah, reach out and I'm, I'm happy to help. I'm Tim Montague. Let's grow solar and storage. The Clean Power Hour is brought to you by CPS America, maker of North America's number one three-phase string inverter with over eight gigawatts shipped in the U.S. The CPS product lineup includes string inverters ranging from 25 kW to 350 kW. Their flagship inverter, the CPS 350 kW, is designed to work with solar plants ranging from 2 megawatts to 2 gigawatts. CPS is the world's most bankable inverter brand and is America's number one choice for solar plants. Now offering solutions for commercial, utility, ESS, and balance of system requirements. Go to chintpowersystems.com or call 855-584-7168 to find out more.